In this demonstration, we'll explore a fictitious case where three individuals wanted by the German police are to be further investigated by a central investigation unit, such as Europol or Interpol. We start here on the DataWalk Universe Viewer, which provides a visual representation for all the data in the system, which comes from a variety of different data sources. Each of these icons represents a data set, and the lines indicate the connections between those data sets. DataWalk can handle many billions of records, but in this case we have a small fictitious data set of about 2,000 TFTP requests, 100,000 immigration records, SARS, BTS logs, and financial data. In this case, we have here a new counterterrorism request that needs to be checked. We see three associated suspects, Abdul Bari, Jamal Ween, and Abdul Amar, and we see that they posted tweets which could perhaps suggest a terrorist attack at a concert in Istanbul, Turkey. In the TFTP dataset, we see the three individuals of interest. We want to document our findings, so we first open the DataWalk Investigation workspace, where we can save and share information about this investigation. We create a new folder, which we'll call TFTP Request Counter Terrorism. And we make our first entry into this new folder, which we'll call Three Targets to Check. And we attach the TFTP request to this entry. Back on the Universe Viewer, we'd like to check if our three targets are in our immigration database. We set the three individuals in the TFTP request as our perspective, and we see that these are connected with three records in the immigration database. So indeed, these three people are in the system. And on histogram, we confirm that they are Jamal Wayne, Abdul Amar, and Abdul Bari. Now we can check what other data is connected to these three individuals. We see they are connected to the radical Salafism group, and we also see that they're connected to two SARS, so we'll explore their accounts and transactions. DataWalk provides the ability to easily integrate a new data source on the fly, so we simply drag an Excel file of Swift transactions onto the Universe Viewer. The system recognizes columns in their formats, and this data is now available in the system. We'll change the icon of this data set to something more representative, and next we'll connect this to the accounts data set where we'll use the account number as a common key, first for the sender account, and then a second connection for the receiver account. We instantly see that these transactions are associated with 24 accounts, and we can then set those 24 accounts as our perspective and see they are associated with some 700 transactions. Since the tweets that sparked interest were posted only one month ago, we'll reduce our data and focus only on transactions from the last six months. And now we visualize these accounts and our transactions on a flowchart, which is an advanced version of a link chart. We can add connections such as account holders, and SARS. And now we see our main actors and how the money has flowed. Funds originated from a common unknown account and were transferred to the accounts of our three people of interest. We note that SARS have been associated with these accounts. Funds were transferred to the Albari account and he made several small transactions. We can change the object labels and we see that he paid for a hotel, a rental car, an airline ticket, and there's also a small PayPal transaction. We review this PayPal transaction, and immediately we see that this is a website that sells concert tickets in Turkey. Albari bought tickets for a concert which will take place on December 12th. This concert will be held in Istanbul, which is consistent with the original tweets that caught the attention of the police in Germany. We'll add this important information to our investigation folder, where we'll save this as a print screen. Now let's come back to the Universe Viewer to continue our investigation. We check visits of our targets, and we see that they have been visiting many countries, but for now we're specifically interested in visits to Turkey. 
can see that these three targets have been visiting various locations in Turkey. When we add those places, we immediately see that they arrived together at the Istanbul airport, and later two of them stayed in the same hostel. However, Albari disappeared from our radar. We can visualize these locations on a map, and we can insert the location of the concert that was found in the PayPal transaction. We see the concert location is close to the hostel where Jamal and Abdul stayed, and we can take a look at this location via Google Street View. Our analysis suggests that these three individuals may indeed be planning an attack at this upcoming concert, such that these three individuals should immediately be located and questioned, and that plans should be made for increasing security at the concert.